Thanks for joining me! My name is Anna and I'm here with Fun Sock Creations. Today I'm going to show you how you can take your sock drawer from looking like this, maybe worse, maybe better, to looking like this. Organized and easy to find whatever socks you're looking for and no missing soulmates. Don't forget to check out our store online, funsockcity.com, where you will find lots of these socks in my tutorial and I'll put a link to those also in the comments below. So let's get started! Okay, I've dumped all my sock drawer out onto this table. No, that's actually one of my kids' socks that I've been missing. This is why I should organize my sock drawer. I'll show you how I fold those when I'm being really organized, which I have not been. For our first folding, we'll start out with kind of the basic crew length sock. I like to wear these with jeans. This is how I almost always fold my socks when I'm being lazy. But lots of times they come apart when they're in my drawer if I fold them like that and it's hard to find the ones that you want. So, when you're folding them fresh out of the wash, just lay them down with the heels up, one on top of the other, fold it into thirds, bring this section down. But when you bring this section down, you can leave it just like this. If you have a nice, tight space to put it in, they make some sock organizer drawers that you can put them in and they just stay just like that and it's so nice. I don't have one of those. So to make sure mine stay together, I actually just tuck it right in to that top opening of the sock. It takes a lot to make it come apart, so it'll stay together in your drawer as you're rummaging through for the right sock. If you have an even longer sock, these are some really nice compression socks. I like these when I'm hiking. You'll turn these over. Again, you'll lay them with the heel up. These are longer socks, but I actually just do it the same way. Pull that top down a third of the way, and then the rest of the third, tuck right into that top opening of the sock. Now for a shorter sock. These are super cute. I love these ones. I do it almost the exact same way. Lay it with the heel up. Bring that heel down and just tuck those toes right into there. And I like knowing these are my short socks, these are my medium socks, these are my really tall socks. And you can tell the difference when you're looking at them in your sock drawer. Short, medium, tall. So for my athletic socks, I like them to not even show above my shoes or to just barely show. So these are really short, but I just put them heel up, fold that opening down, and then tuck the toes right into there. They stay together really well. For the no-so shocks, I like to just tuck them right inside each other. So match the toe with the toe and the heel with the heel. Tuck it right inside and then I just like to tuck that right into there. I really don't want these to lose their elasticity. So I try not to stretch it at all when I tuck it into there. You can stack these in there really nicely and then it's easy to see what you want and where it is and grab it and go. As you can see, I am not only more organized, but I also have way more room. We're going to be pushing out a few videos this week. The next few will be ones that you can do with young children to help them pass the time. Be watching for that. It'll be a puppet show and how you can put it all together, hopefully using things that you already have at home. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye!